Welcome into Red Sox Now. I'm your host, Rachel Holt. Happy unofficial start of the summer. Yes, we can finally all wear white now. Something to get us more excited about this time of year. The Sox are rolling. The Bruins are done. The Celtics are done. Patriot season hasn't started yet. So come on, guys. We really need you. Luckily, they've been delivering for us. The team has the best record in the majors at 37-17, and 17, and they've won seven of their last nine games. Prior to 2018, the last three teams to win at least 35 of their first 51 games were the 2017 Astros, the 2016 Cubs, and the 2007 Red Sox, all of whom won the World Series that year. The Sox have homered in 24 of their last 27 games and lead the majors with 48 home runs since April 30th. J.D. Martinez has 17 homers on the season, tied with Mike Trout and a guy we know named Mookie Betts for most in the majors. Perhaps one of the reasons for their offensive success is how aggressively the team has been swinging. Check this out. Through 2013 through 2017, the Sox ranked 30th in first pitch swing rate. They certainly found success at the plate on Monday, beating the Blue Jays 8-3 in the first game of their three-game series. Next up, they'll face the Jays again when Rick Porcello takes the mound Tuesday night. Eduardo Rodriguez pitches Wednesday to close out the series at home. Then the Sox hit the road to take on the Astros. Drew Pomerantz pitches Thursday and Friday, it's sale day. While we appreciate what this current Sox roster is doing, it's always nice to remember some of the important names of Red Sox past. The newest members of the Red Sox Hall of Fame were inducted on Thursday night. The 2018 class includes four former players who were all part of championship teams. John Buck Freeman, Derek Lowe, Kevin Euclid, and Mike Lowell. Congratulations, guys. Mike Lowell and Derek Lowe, two of the guys who let the fun carry into the weekend by participating in the alumni game at Fenway, the first Red Sox alumni game since 1993. Former Red Sox player Alex Cora did not play, but he did mingle with the guys in the dugout and he cheered them on. Here's a welcome sight. Pedro Martinez on the mound at Fenway for the first time since June 28, 2006, when he was with the Mets. Pedro had this to say about his return to Fenway. It feels very familiar to be back on the mound and just take a moment to look at your fan base, the people that supported you for many years. It's very special. And give the three-time Cy Young winner a break. He's been retired nearly a decade, but this is an epic shot of Julio Lugo hitting a homer off of Pedro. And for those of you wondering, Team Louis Tion beat Team Dwight Evans 2-0, but all of the guys in good spirits shaking hands after the game. And unfortunately, the Celtics went the way of Team Dwight Evans, losing to the Cavs in Game 7 on Sunday night of the Eastern Conference Finals. A number of Red Sox players were at the game showing their support. Alex Cora posting a pick from TD Garden. He commented, on the C's success this season before Monday's game. It was fun to watch. I mean, would have loved to, you know, change the dress code for Thursday to go to Houston, but I guess we go casual now. The team not only standing behind other Boston teams, but also showing support for military members this weekend for Memorial Day. Honoring Gold Star families from Vermont on the holiday, getting player escorts onto the field, and loud applause from the fans before the singing of the national anthem. And the players wearing special Memorial Day uniforms throughout the weekend, those are fire. Also fire, seeing Dustin Pedroia in the lineup. The second baseman returned to the lineup on Saturday after missing the first 51 games of the year while recovering from off-season knee surgery. How did the crowd feel? We'll let you hear for yourself. Second baseman, number 15, Dustin Pedroia. The four-time All-Star went 0-4 in his return, but is optimistic about the season. You know, every every moment is special. Um, you know, I get an opportunity to play baseball here is, is, is you know, I never take it for granted. So, um, you know, today was up there with, with with any any of the moments that I've been here. So, you know, I'm pretty proud to be able to come back from the surgery I had and and then help us win. Unfortunately, less exciting was the fact that the Red Sox had to make room on the 25-man roster for the Laser Show and the team designated fan favorite Hanley Ramirez for assignment. El Trece taking the time to thank Red Sox Nation on Twitter. Hanley, you will be missed. And now for my personal favorite segment of the show, Ness and Clubhouse. This time it's Joe Kelly's turn to get grilled by young Red Sox fans in this week's episode of Small Talk.
Hi, Mr. Kelly. Hi, Mr. Kelly. Hi, Mr. Kids and Mrs. Kids. <laughs> Hi, my name is Shay. I go to the hockey rink in Charlestown. Do you ever watch hockey? Um, to be honest, I don't watch much hockey. Um, I like the sport, but being from California, uh, it was a sport that uh, we didn't play as much as you guys do in the Northeast. Hi, my name's Johan. I actually put shaving cream in my sister shampoo. Do you play any pranks? Hi, Johan. Um, I do like pulling some pranks. Recently, I did one here at spring training as I dressed up as a, a local media reporter and, and had fun with some of the guys, uh, just pranking them, you know, trying to make them, make them mad at me, irritate them, uh, and uh, do some interviews with them. So it was a fun time, um, but I definitely love doing some pranks. Hi, my name is Jennifer. What's your favorite part about Fenway Park? Hi, Jennifer. Uh, my favorite part is the bullpen. Uh, the bullpen, you know, where we sit down there all game until the coach needs us. Uh, Bullman's fun, you know, you, you're, you're kind of away from the guys in the dugout, but, you know, we have our own little group down there, and, and, and we have a couple games we like to play to keep ourselves entertained before we get in the game. Um, and, you know, being in the bullpen, you, you kind of feel like you're part of the crowd, uh, so that, that's, that's also fun, too. Hi, my name is Ender. Um, my favorite book is Waking, um, Waking of the Monsters. What's your favorite book? I don't know if I've ever read Waking of the Monsters. Uh, Probably when I was your age, or most likely younger, um, I liked uh, Green Angels and Ham, Dr. Seuss, so uh, that's the one that sticks out the most to me. Hi, I'm Addison. What's your favorite pitch and why? Uh, my favorite pitch would be the strikeout. Uh, so whatever pitch comes on, on strike three is my favorite pitch at that particular moment. Um, so as long as it gets someone to swing a miss or, or look at it, you know, down the middle. That's, uh, that's my favorite pitch. Hi, I'm Rolandi. I have a hoodie that has a bee on it. What's your favorite Red Sox gear? Probably my jersey. Uh, take a lot of pride in wearing that, that uniform. There's so many greats that have worn it you know, before me and, and everyone on the team, so uh, probably the Red Sox jersey. Hi, my name's Xavier. At Fenway, my favorite food is the giant pretzels. What's your favorite food? Probably cotton candy. Uh, I like sugar, so uh, you know when I get to go to when I used to go to baseball games, I think uh, cotton candy was my, my my favorite thing to get. Hi, I'm Alani. I have four birds. Do you have any pets? I have two dogs. Uh, one's named Rocky, and the other's Drake. And one's a boxer, and then the other sorry the other one's a mix. Uh, of boxer and some other stuff, but I love pets. Uh, and when I was younger, I had a, an iguana, um, and he got too big, so we had to give him away. Uh, my name's Sam. It's this really cool music or like beat making um, app that um, you put. In, there are these tiny squares that represent each individual beat, and you can do whatever you wish with that until you find the beat that suits you. Have you ever made your own music? I've never made my own music, um, but I'd like to get a hold of that app. That'd be kind of fun. Um, I like music a lot, and um, making beats is fun, so maybe I can make my own walkout song this year. Hi, my name is Arthur. I have a stuffed animal called Mr. Cat One. Did you have any stuffed animals? I don't think I had a stuffed animal. I had a favorite blanket, um, and I did not give my blanket a name, but never really caught on to stuff animal, but I used to walk around with my blanket everywhere. Um, so that was like my stuff animal. So, but I didn't give it a name. Thank you for answering my questions. Thank you for answering my questions. Thank you for answering my questions. Bye. Let's take a look at what's going on around the league. Mike Trout had himself a day on Saturday, his first career five hit game, and he set a number of other career marks. He finished with three doubles, a home run, four RBIs, and 11 total bases. Dustin Verlander is having a heck of a year. Here you can see his stats through his first 11 starts in 2011, the season he was named MVP, versus this season, and yeah, he is only getting better with age. Speaking of age, a 19-year-old just did something pretty amazing. Juan Soto got called up to the MLB, and on the very first pitch of his very first start, he hit a three-run home run. And then there's this, in case you wanted to feel old today, Soto is the first 
MLB player born in 1998. Thank you for that. And dinner just got pretty awkward at one family's house. Giant shortstop Garrett Cole homered off his brother-in-law, Brandon Crawford, who pitches for the Astros. Crawford was a good sport and he had fun with it, signing the pair of cleats he wore and sending them to Cole, writing, out of here and adios, pelota. Before we go, we leave you with this gem, a little hot dog mascot having trouble in his uniform, falling down the stairs of the clubhouse and the grown-up hot dog ushering his hot dog son along. He looks to be okay. Thanks for tuning into this episode of Red Sox Now. We'll see you next time. Go Sox!